Lions lead the animal kingdom. Tigers rule the jungle. But at the time of face off, who is the crew king? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome to Mr. Jam's channel. Today's topic is quite interesting, so watch it till the end. And if it's your first time, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. The animal classification suggests that lions and tigers belong to the same family until we reach to the species where things start to get interesting. We can see that both have same kingdom, phylum, class, order family and genus. But at the species level, tiger comes under panthera tigris and the lion comes under panthera leo category. Siberian tiger can weigh up to 360 kgs. They are the largest subspecies of the kind, while the large African lions weigh up to 250 kgs. They weigh around 180 kgs on average, while the Bengal tigers can weigh up to 220 kilos. Tigers are heavier, but the two cats aren't so different in size. Tigers' mass directly translates into high muscle density and therefore strength. They have shorter legs giving them the stability and the room to swipe with the bigger, heavier paws before the lion can even reach. Lions rely on the teeth and mouth as a primary weapon and then attacks with its fierce claws. Their mane covering their necks and the patients can often beat tigers' strength and aggressiveness. Tiger has an upper hand when we talk about one-on-one -on -one fights. This is how the nature has trained him. While the lion requires the help of its pride to dominate an animal larger than its size and strength. The tiger wins by its strength and swiftness. And the lion resorts to its calm approach and the intimidation through social dominance. The tiger fights to kill, but the lion fights to defend. It is said, that during the ancient Rome, the tiger-lion face-off was not uncommon. In those days, the rich and the emperors always used to bet their large sums of money on tigers, and the luck was always on their side. They were never disappointed. On one account, the emperor Titus arranged the Bengal tigers to come face to face with the African lions, and to no surprise, the tigers beat their rivals to death. In the late 1800s, the Indian ruler of Baroda Currently, Wadodara organized a very fierce face-off between the two beasts. The lion belonged to the mountain ranges of Algeria and Morocco, and the tiger from the Indian region of Shimla. Both large and hungry, with their diets reduced before the fight, ready to pounce to satisfy their appetite. The tiger was more than 10 feet long, had strong shoulders, long teeth and claws. The tiger was seen as the personification of strength and energy. On the other hand, the lion looked taller from the front and had a large mane, legs and paws. The lion was seen as the embodiment of power and grace. When the face-off began, it was the most gruesome encounter in the history of that region. Blood started to gush out in no time and both beasts never looked like giving up. But it was not a good day for the lion. The tiger in its final move beat the lion to death. The ruler lost his bet and accepted to pay a sum of rupees 37,000 and the tiger got the honor of being the king of the cat family. On another instance, back in May 1914, at one of the zoos in New York, 8-year-old Bengal tiger somehow managed to break into its neighbor's cage where he came into direct contact with the most ferocious lions, the Barbary lion. During the first few minutes of the face-off, the lion showed its dominance and appeared to be winning. But the tiger came back hard and attacked its name. After an hour of brutal moves, the tiger finally slaughtered the lion. In a similar instance, quite recently, the tiger killed a lion with a single move at Ankara Zoo in Turkey. 
according to Mr. Craig, biologist, tigers seem to be more aggressive. They go for the throat, go for the kill. Whereas the lions just pound you and take a defensive approach. According to Hearn in his book, The Perils and Pleasures of Hunter's Life, mentions that there have been accounts where a lion and a tiger came face to face in an Indian jungle. Locals managed to see the lion and tiger rolling about in their battle. The tiger was about the same size as the lion, but more agile. As for the lion, it used greater strength and its mane. They were as determined and brave as each other, but the lion endured. It caught the tiger's throat, turned it on its back, and killed it by clawing its abdomen open. Similarly, Mr. Clyde, an animal trainer, had worked with tigers, lions, and hyenas for over a decade. According to his experience, 9 out of 10 times the lion could whip a full grown tiger. Tigers pounce with their teeth and feet. They bite and lash the opponent with their fury. But unless they manage to take a vulnerable spot, no greater damage can be done. Tigers have advantage of speed, but once checkmated, they're bound to become defensive. Lion fights with his teeth and front paws, focused on tiger's throat while protecting his own neck with his magnificent mane. 25 tigers had been killed in front of Mr. Clyde, but there was not a single casualty of the lion. Lions usually fight as a group against territory rivals, but the tigers have an advantage in a one-on-one -on -one encounter, since this is a typical mode of combat for them. Most experts favor a Siberian or a Bengal tiger over an African lion. However, a lion coalition of two to three males would have a clear advantage over a tiger. I'll conclude by saying that the tiger often wins. The lions win as well, but occasionally. What's your opinion on this? Let me know in the comments down below.